I'm gonna make some tweaks to the sliders here. Yep, your sub went in. I appreciate the sub, my guy. Well, Tua gains um, a development despite the poor game. We'll, we'll shake that off. This schedule's got to get easier. I still have hope for the season. I'm going to make some uh, some changes to the... Oh, this is a good upgrade. Throw power. Nice. Up to 89. During the season, how much work do you have for PFF and how do they pay? So the nice thing as a part-time PFF employee is I can do as much work as I want to put in. So if I want to work four games and put in a 40-hour week, I guess that'd be more than four games, but I could go for it. But because I have my YouTube, I don't do that. I do a couple games, so I do about 10 hours between six to 10 hours, depending how many plays. AJ, come on, man, you're 32 years old. Why are you frustrated? I can't make any promises, AJ. Not with John Ross playing the way, the way he's playing. Uh, and then the payment, it, it varies depending on like what you're doing. Different processes pay differently. Usually it's, it's all per play. And then sometimes you get paid by accuracy, you'll get paid a certain amount depending on how accurate you are with your charting and sometimes they just pay per play and assume that you're you're doing a good job you're about to watch in VR is that uh is that an option like watch my stream in VR all right we got the we got the Ravens this week Jonah Williams gets an upgrade. We can bounce back. We are going to play offense because our offense got worked. I'm going to tweak these side settings a little bit. Thanks for sending those follows my way, guys. Um, I'm going to keep it on all Madden, even though I've said I like all pro. But I'm just going to experiment a little bit because we've already been playing on all Madden. So I am going to increase player pass blocking up to a 70 see how that plays and then I am going to I gotta turn face masks down because those are high and then the other thing I want to do I'm gonna take superstar x-factor away from a couple guys for the edge rushers because I do think it's a little overpowered but then I gotta take it away from Gino that's fine I'll do it Actually, screw it. We'll just leave it how it is and deal with it. Weekly awards. Who got an award? Jesse Bates had two picks last week. All right. Well, at least something good came from last week. Let's see how our stats are. Two is... God, that five interception game killed us. He's been having a really good year. Joe Mixon's having a good year. That run was nice. Look at John Ross. Jeez. AJ, why are you complaining? You're not even playing that bad. You're on pace for a thousand yards. All right, so we're gonna play offense this week. Whoops. We're gonna bounce back, get to two and three. Do I have any tips for studying film? Um. I get that question a lot. It's something that, in my opinion, can really only come from hours of like just sitting down. I mean, buy NFL Game Pass is the biggest advice I could ever give anyone. But you really gotta just watch a shit ton of football. like. I spent the summer after I graduated college, I spent the majority of that summer on the couch just watching. I would do the condensed games 
where they break down the broadcast into 40 minute and I would just binge an entire team season like I was watching a season of Netflix so like I started with the Panthers who were coming off the Cam Newton MVP season and you just kind of get a feel for like what teams do what certain players do you just you know I don't I don't think any book you read unless you were in like a college program or an NFL program and you're getting coaching on this stuff like I really do think that watching film and recognizing talent in terms of football it really can only come from drawing from what you've seen other players do and that's only going to come from hours and hours of watching film oh get the first joe i think that's gonna be close and then once you have a feel for like what an archetype is what certain skill sets are because 90 percent of the nfl are not your your odell beckham aaron Rodgers, saquon barkley that you can plug into any system right and they're gonna play like stars 90 to 95 percent of the nfl are system players who have specific skill sets so when you can understand and that is what comes into the draft is that once you understand what each team wants to do what those archetypes are and then see the trends of like hang on let's get this first down come on tyler there you go but once you pick up on what what the archetypes are what certain skill sets look like that apply to those archetypes then you can gain a better understanding of what you're looking for and there's theo riddick and then when you see a player like a saquon barkley then you know like oh shit like this guy has everything like this guy is a blue chip prospect a guy that could be a perennial all pro the perennial all pro type of players there you go ebron you know when you talk about a perennial all pro that means that as as the players around him come and go as as the teams he plays on are better and worse that means he's going to have all of the skill sets to play in any scheme independent of system what about understanding schemes and play calling well, play calling isn't quite as, um, in my opinion, play calling's not quite as uh, dramatic from team to team. You know, c certain teams might like comebacks more, certain teams might like hitches more, certain teams might run your your gimmick, your gimmicky plays. Teams like the Bears, the Chiefs, the, the, the Saints, which is kind of the, the direction the NFL is going right now. But for the most part, concepts are all pretty similar. So from a play calling standpoint, if you just want to talk about learning how to evaluate talent and stuff, that's not necessarily so important. But I would say the types of players that are running those... is is where you're gonna notice the difference like you know like your slot wide receivers or outside wide receivers that might be a little stiff after the catch or you know can't separate as well those guys aren't going to spend a whole lot of time in the slot just that kind of stuff i feel like i should call my plays by suggestions here because <laughs> i have had less diversified play calling oh god get down ross I haven't touched fumbling yet, in this at least, but I probably should. There you go, AJ.
people were talking about how the Broncos' offense looks faster, and I always hear things about how teams run offenses and call plays, but I'm just always confused. Oh, God. Oh, God. That should have been RB. Ooh, Yannick Ngakwe came to the Ravens. That'd be it. I could see that signing, actually. Do I know anything about Ultimate Frisbee? I do not, unfortunately. No, the first thing about Ultimate Frisbee. I used to play it. Oh, let's just run it, even though RB is open. Come on, Tua. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'll take that. Who do I think the GOAT is? I don't think there is a GOAT, honestly. Jerry Rice is the closest thing to it. I think you should be the best player at your position. You should obviously have wins. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're going to go for it after that. I thought we were for sure going to... I don't think there is a football goat because I feel like it should be a quarterback, but there's things about every quarterback that you can make a case that he's the best quarterback to ever play. Uh, I am going to disagree on Larry Fitzgerald being better than Jerry Rice. No, it can't be a running back. <laughs> oh, is this, this going to be another big third down conversion by Joe Mixon? Oh, God. Are you serious? I was just going to say that whoever in the chat earlier was saying that now that we've turned Joe Mixon into a star in Madden, I hope he does it in real life. Well, he gets hurt. Oh, come on. Get your feet in. Ah, Tua missed him. That was a perfect pump fake against the cover two. That was actually man. Come on, Boyd. Jeez, he picked that? No way. Are you serious? I didn't even challenge it because of the simulation. God, what a freaking interception. Oh, all right, Theo. Uh, pump fake, I love the pump fake this year. You just double tap whatever receiver you're throwing to, which is genius. Like, I've actually been using it a lot this year. And defenders will actually bite on it. That was just... Ah. It's a defensive struggle. Yeah, that was dumb. Jeez, two picks. Oh my god, he's going to house it. Miles Jack. His return ability. I mean, he's a former running back. God, so they signed both. Jags guys, they got Miles Jack and Yannick Ngakwe. Damn. And Joe Mixon's not coming back. There you go, Theo. What a dime. Let's get a. Uh get Rodney Anderson some carries here or he's hurt dang we are beaten and broken Tom Brady's not a system quarterback no I mean in a way he is but like we keep saying this offseason is Tom Brady's ability 
you know, basically, to not be a system player, like we were talking about earlier, you need to have something that sets you apart. And just because he isn't mobile doesn't mean he's a system player. Like, he... For one, like... Um, he will, like... His ability to throw the ball away, like, into the dirt, inside the pocket, sets him apart. His ability to, like hold defenders with his eyes very subtly to like see throwing windows and know where defenders are going like he does other things that set him apart for sure there we go nice catch AJ like something we talked about in our Matt Ryan film breakdown is like there was a play where he threw the ball with great anticipation Oh my god, Tua. God, he is struggling. That was an easy slant. But there was a play by Matt Ryan, I think I tweeted it out, where he had a, a deep slant, almost like a post on the left side and like a trips on the right, and he just like, this was Matt Ryan. One second. There we go. All right, AJ, you're getting more involved. Um, he just, like, held the linebacker, like, just long enough, and before the guy even broke on a slant, he comes off it and throws it. And it came on a rope, like, on a dime, hit the guy in stride. Like, it was a content, like, there's defenders in every area. The problem with Matt Ryan is he doesn't do that consistently enough. That's, like, a once-a-game thing. Tom Brady does that ten times a game block for me oh my god AJ thank you and even on those like throws to the running back like he, he might even know that he's going to throw the running back but he's able to manipulate guys that you know he'll, he'll hold a linebacker with his eyes that get the running back an extra two inches of space or two feet of space and those two feet are what allows Sony Michelle or whoever it is to juke the guy out because he was just out of position enough like just the little things that Tom Brady does make him unique I think what I'm describing is his is his pre and post snap awareness. McTwisty fisty. I think I think you just put a an adjective or a a noun or whatever the proper grammatical shit is for what I'm saying. I think that's the uh, the term for for the, the the traits that I'm describing here. Oh, get it, Ross. Let's go, John Ross. Hey. Wow, Theo Riddick's been a good pickup just on this game alone. He's still a free agent, isn't he, Theo? He'd be a good pickup for someone. All right, we got cover three. God, Tua, come on, man. Ah, Tua. Struggling out here. Three picks. You want to join the stream, Teddy? Come here. Come here, Teddy. Teddy wants to be on camera. We're going to put him up here. Say hi. Say hello. Boom. There you go. Go sleepy. Yeah. He always takes a second when he gets up here before he lies down. 
All right, we got a defensive battle here. Oh, it's a flag. It's a flag, Teddy. You saw a rattlesnake yesterday. Where do you live? I don't know why I thought that Jimmy Smith was blitzing there. Whoops. I guess we can run this again. gonna pick up this win this is a big win for us we need the we need to not start two and four or one and four that's what we need Three sacks for Yanni Kangakwe. That was my fault. I try to extend these plays and it gets me bit. I should have just taken the four yards. I'm channeling my inner Aaron Rodgers. Oh, TJ Jones. It was such a good throw by Tua. All right. Come on, defense. Keep stepping up. Defense is playing awesome today. It definitely hurts not having a running back. We got good field position, too. Yikes, we just lost like eight yards on that. Are you tired, Teddy? Are you tired? Yeah. Do you hate being up on this desk? Is it scary? You want to go back to the bed? Is that what you're telling me? Oh my god, unblocked. You have a tip for me. You'll tuck the ball with left trigger. You'll be able to run better behind the line of scrimmage. You'll still press left trigger to bring up the... That's a good tip. I'll, I'll try playing around with that. Alright, let's slide this line to the right, please. And maybe we just go deep to John Ross. Maybe we don't because, oh, go get it, Boyd. Oh, no. Thank you for the follow, Piggy. All right, apparently Jordan Lassley's out here just breaking all the tackles. All right, defense, we need you yet again. Another Twitch Prime. That's like three or four tonight. You guys are the best. I guess August is a month of generosity, huh? Yeah, I should, I should try to be a little more conservative here. All right, John Ross. We're gonna go to suggestions. I'm definitely also thrown off by the fact that we only have one running back and that running back is Theo Riddick, who's not much of a running back. He's more of a receiver. Who is the worst quarterback that could be carried to a Super Bowl? That's a fun question. Um, 
I mean, it's got to be worse than Nick Foles, right? Because we've seen that. Um, could, like, Fitzpatrick do it? I feel like Fitzpatrick is too inconsistent. Fitzpatrick would at some point lose you a game. Oh, no, he fumbled. God, really? Well, I think Mitch Trubisky is better than Nick Foles, so yeah. All right, now we actually have to go score. God, why is Tua so slow? He's a good athlete. I don't know why he's taking so long to like get step up and run. Like, jeez. Well, I don't think we're taking uh, their current team into account for this. Oh my God, really? Damn fumbles. Oh, we got the ball right back though. All right. God, this defense is stepping up for us. I don't think Blake Bortles could win a Super Bowl. We saw Blake Bortles with an incredible roster and couldn't get it done. Oh my God, it's thrown a Yannick Ngakwe with four sacks. Oh, Joe Mixon's back in. All right. Come on, Ebron, make a play. Oh, that was sick. That was absolutely sick. God, I love the fact that you can throw it up to a big-bodied wide receiver and he'll go do that. Case Keenum's a good answer. Case Keenum might be it. Well, now that we've got Mixon in there, we can at least run the ball. we got time for it. Oh, we could go. Nice run. I think Case Keenum might be the answer. Well, Tannehill, yeah, Tannehill. I thought about him. That's a, that's a solid answer. But he's a guy that is just, oh my god, Tua. Tannehill's just a year away from being a starter. I, I feel like he's still a borderline starter. I think what you can do worse than Tannehill. I mean, could the Bears win a Super Bowl with, uh, with Chase Daniel? He's one of the better backups in the league. Oh, what a clutch play by Tua. Oh, my God. What a throw by the lefty. Did he switch hands there? I, I'm trying to look. I feel like the ball was in his right hand, and then he switched hands to throw it. I couldn't quite see. I think Case Keenum's the best answer we have right now. Who's the other? There's another, like, veteran backup with Fitzpatrick right now. That's, like, same exact caliber. I can't think of it right now. It's not Teddy. I mean, Teddy Bridgewater would be a solid answer, too. Oh, yikes. I did not expect that to actually get handed off. Oh my god. <laughs> god, that sucks. We were just going for the easy slant. Brandon Williams came unblocked. Eric Ebron, clutch again. Oh, that's perfect. God, we're right on the one yard line. 
What a play. Nah, Matt Schaub, Matt Schaub's too bad. I don't think Matt Schaub could get it done. Nate Peterman, you guys know that that's my my answer at heart. But we've also never seen him play at like a competent level, even though I think he could at some point. There's another veteran that's right there with Fitz. Nah, Mike Glennon sucks. Tyrod, I mean, yeah, you could probably win one with Tyrod. All right, here we go. We got the ball in overtime. It's been a good game. Oh, we forced a turnover. We can just run this thing and get the win. What a game. Good job, defense. I don't think Brett Hundley could win a Super Bowl. Tyrod is not better than Nick Foles. I, I do not like Nick Foles, but at least Nick Foles can throw the ball accurately more than 10 yards. Like, Tyrod's fun, but I'm going to disagree with you on that one wholeheartedly. I don't know why we just threw the ball, but let's go. Colt McCoy? I don't know, man. I don't know about Colt McCoy. Wow. Look at Lamar in that game. And that's... Oh, never mind. That's my Lamar. But that's pretty vintage Lamar Jackson right there. 85 yards. Jacoby Brissett could do it. I mean, there's a bunch of guys that it's really hard to come up with the best answer. You got, like, Tyrod, Brissett, Ryan Fitzpatrick, or uh, Ryan Tannehill. I don't know about Fitzpatrick. All right, we got a zone coverage upgrade for Jesse Bates. We're 2-3 and three coming off a clutch win. This defense stepped up in the biggest way for us that game. We'll auto those guys. 